Hello there, I'm Star Class, and I'm going to show you how to make really good 808 bass for UK Afro beats in FL Studio. You can use these things I'm going to show you for other genres of music. I'm going to focus on UK Afro beats in this tutorial. All right, now let's get started. So I'm going to play the beats we have and we're going to see how it sounds, right? So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, recording vocals, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. Yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You fill a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you fill this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form, and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. So that's pretty much how the beat sounds. So we're going to select our 808. For my 808 plugins, right? Most times I do not use 808 um, kicks, like this popular spins on 808. I prefer to use um, plugins for my 808 because it's way easier to use and more tone accurate. So I'm going to use FL Studio Stock plugin, yes. Flex plugin, it has really good 808 presets. And this is it, all you have to do is come to this um, part right here, mobile tuned 808 bass, and you can see different 808 sound. But we to stick to this is my favorite at the moment 808 synth clean, and this as well 808 clean, and the other so many variations of 808. And you can do different um, settings here, but I'm not going to go into all of that in this tutorial. I'm just going to focus on making something really good. So let's use this for example right so before you make your 808 our advice you have your chord pattern showing up in your ghost notes or how we do that we just go to our chord progression right copy it then go to this is our 808 pattern right then paste it right here then you know um bass notes or 808 or 808 is a bass element right they usually go to the lower octaves that is the fourth octaves the fifth octave sometimes even down to the third octave depends what you're trying to, trying to do. So we're going to copy all of this because this is at the fourth octave right now. Then have it also at the third, right? Then have it also at the fifth, right? So these three different octaves go right so that when we're playing our 808 bass, clicking it in, it's going to be really, really easy to know if it's sounding good or what keys to pick. So I'm going to make it really simple, right? I'm not going to just um, go into making something complex at first. I'm going to try and follow straight lines, just the chord progressions, right? And then let's just see how it sounds. All right, then, then have this, then let's see how it sounds. All right, so now that we have our simple 808 bass playing, we're going to break up some notes, right? And most times I prefer to break up the notes before each new chord section, because this is a chord section, this is a chord section, this is a chord section, this is also a chord section, and so on, right? So I'm going to just reduce this somewhere around here. And then I'm going to, let's say, have maybe two notes broken off. Let's see how it sounds. Let's see here. Bring it down here. Then let's break this up as well. Then reduce this as well. I think this note. We sound better here. 
So, and I'm also going to break this guy as well. Let's see. Extend it. All right. So, these are just simple changes I've done to our 808. And you can see we try to stick as much as we can to the notes that make up our chord progression okay so it makes it easier for it to flow with the beat and with the chords right so the next we're going to do is we're going to create slides and this makes your 808 sound even more interesting so i'm just going to click this two right here slide two right and i'm going to just place some notes let's say this and yeah, let's see how it sounds and the deeper you bring it right, when the deeper you bring it, the deeper it goes. If I bring it down further to a lower octave, and if I take it to a higher octave, so we don't want that, we just want to go deep first. Then let's see how it sounds on the lower octave here. Let's see a higher octave. Let's see a higher octave will sound here. Let's reduce it a bit. Perfect. You could also play with the velocity just so it sounds interesting so it doesn't sound too consistent just play with some parts and you could also break up your 808 right and have a pattern like this here So these are simple things you can do to spice up your 8084 UK Afro beat, right? There's some things you can do extra, maybe like add saturation to make it sound crunchy and make it sound distorted. That's if you like, but most times I do not like my 808 sounding that way, unless I'm making trap music. But for Afro, I like sounding clean, round, and fat, right? And yeah, so this is how to make your 808 sound good for UK Afro beats. And if you felt this lesson was helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so that other people that need this video can easily find me on youtube all right guys see you on the next tutorial cheers